Hi everyone, Comic Viewer here, this time doing a Halloween review once again, and this one is on Blackest Night, Justice League of America, issue number 39. Now, as you know, much like other DC Comics, were meant to be tie-ins to the 2010 and 9 event called Blackest Night, where diseased DC characters come back as Black Lantern zombies. And the cover has the first Doctor Light attacking Satana with others sort of dodging and all that. The story starts off with a Black Lantern ring targeting the original vibe, who says, It wasn't hard to decide to give up the gang life. I thought it would be very hard, dumping Los Lobos Negros, me being their leader and all. But I was just in it for the rush, and wanted to sort of be a superhero. And we kind of see how we would end up joining the Justice League Detroit team. And of course, we'd take down Amazos in that. But eventually dying at the hands of Professor Ivo, when his robot sort of strangled him. And we see Vibe once again brought back as a Black Lantern. And we see how, the t how some of the old Justice League members go in saying, What in God's name happened to the Horror of Justice? So, of course, we see characters like Red Tornado, Plastic Man, the female Dr. Light and all that, heading in, saying, I hate the dark. And of course, she lights up, and we kind of see how they are shocked and all that about the destruction that happened, and even pointing out why they kept the bodies in that and didn't burn them. But they point out that most of it had powers in that that could have been dangerously given to the black market, we see how everyone looks to their shock that it's a Black Latin version of Satana's father saying, Abracadabra! And we kind of see how everyone says, Satana, it's your dad! He's not my father! And we kind of see how, su how the Black Latin version of Satara tries to manipulate um, Satana into thinking he he's real. And of course, tries to play with her emotions and that, and says, And yet I remember the toy clown that you played with from the stage wings at, as your mother and I performed. So of course we see everyone trying to do their best against the Black Lion version of Satana's father, and tells them to leave quickly while she deals with the Black Lion one. And of course they pretty much stage magics and spells. And we kind of see how he says, You won't stop me, daughter. You take my father's form and turn it into a sick effigy? Oh, I'll stop you. And of course, they end up duking it out until Satara manages to... and her daughter end up in a stalemate, which Satana gets rid of him quickly. And we see how the Black Clan, I mean, the female Doctor Light, Kimio ends up leaving and says, where are you going? And of course you can tell she knows what's going to happen. So they head in and kind of afraid of what's going to happen. But of course they see to their surprise and shock after mentioning about their Just League Detroit days, the Black Lion version of Vibes saying, yo, I miss you babies. Miss me? Vibe? And of course we see how Vibe says, yeah, that's... Like, that's a big deal these days. This is insanity. You died. I'll handle him. Got your back ready. And of course, we kind of see how the Black Lion version of Vibe tries to kind of use everyone's emotions. And Red Tornado sort of using a powerful whirlwind to take down Vibe, who is brought back. And we see how he says, Rubber man, he's got what I want. Don't let him near you. And of course we see how the Black Lion Virgil takes down Red Tornado and Plastic Man, ripping out Plastic Man's rubber heart. And we see how Vixen uses her form, but because of her bad leg, she can't really do proper forms. And of course we see how they how another Black Lion is brought in. The Black Lantern version of Steel. And we see how Kimimo 
manages to find to a shock and horror after figuring out the first Doctor Light, Arthur Light, who says, Firestorm's girlfriend tastes salty good. And we kind of see how he uses a big black energy blast. And we see how he says, Let's see what you taste like. And yeah, this is the story. So in my opinion, the Black is Night issue of Just League America is not too bad. I think there is a good story about this, seeing past teammates coming back to life, and seeing how the, how the team kind of react to it. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.